G'day folks, yep, looks like Ruthie's got himself a new truck, well a new family truck anyway, uh, and I reckon this one just about could have been built for me, come and have a look. Yep, it's a 2010 Toyota Workmate, ex minecore vehicle, and it's got about 70,000 Ks on it. What people don't think about though is that, you know, the L40 was designed back in the late 50s and 60s, and uh, that means there's about 60 years of technology between the two. That's like comparing an FC Holden to a Commodore. And really, the difference in noise levels inside is possibly the biggest thing I notice. Um, and it's more comfortable. I don't really know why, to be honest, because underneath, look at this, the 76 has got the same style of suspension, rear axle, chassis, all the rest of it. It's all much the same till you get to the IFS up the front. It's rugged as. Look, here's the mustard truck. It's really hard to spot the differences. Mustard truck handles. I tell you what, they probably bolt straight in. Just about swap the parts in the work, mate. Amazing. And it's got this funny thing here that must have something to do with the other old bag that sits in this seat. Um, down on the floor, we've got rubber mats, rubber pedals. I've got an eight speed in the mustard. But here, a lot more power, rubber pedals, rubber mats, and a five speed that works a whole lot better just quietly. And this one's got a handbrake. Never had one of those before. Apart from the one I'm married. Bench seats in the back of the mustard truck were really starting to bother the boys because they're both taller than me now. Holly's not, but hey, there's room in this truck for the five of us. Mine was Minecore equipped. Now, a lot of firms set up vehicles for the mines, but Minecore do it best. That means I can rely on everything they've done. It's got that daggy old air filter on, but get a load of this uh, roll cage. That's brilliant. Unlocking hubs, wonderful. You can see I've already had to put the spare on though because these tyres aren't real good. I got a flat on my way home. Unbelievable. But I guess it won't be too long before uh, I'm bunging some decent rubber on it like the mustard truck. Those ones are done service on Milo. But here's the real difference. I got the 2H pumped up by Roo Systems with the DTS Turbo. 67 horsepower. Awesome. So the first thing I did was take the V8 out to Roo Systems for a chip and exhaust. And guess what? It's pumping 170 horsepower. Do you know what that's like to drive on the road? You've got to watch it. It's a rocket. Inside, hey, comfort levels are, you know, really good, I guess, compared to the old mustard truck. Um, I don't notice the difference so much, but then it's got this weird kind of stuff in it too, you know. I don't know what this does. It must be some sort of red and blue flag-waving device or something silly. But anyway, you know what? I'm happy as with the new truck. It's going to be a lot more enjoyable for the family and uh, a lot quicker down the highway and it's got a few comforts you know that's not too bad either i'm definitely not selling the old girl though it's one of the best i've ever seen i want to keep it um yeah well now guess what first time the handbrake is this will be about now so uh, i better run and find some shelter hide all the frozen fish see you later folks